lost one already. <laughs> we were a quartet for at least a little bit. Um, well, we're happy to be here. How many of you guys were here last night? All right. Where are the fuck? Oh, that was last night's thing. <laughs> Tonight, we're keeping it classy. <laughs> now, over there, Max O'Rourke. On the bass, Greg Lofman. Usually with us, Oli Soikoli. And my name is Jason Anik. Well, we're going to switch things up a little bit. Um, we had a uh, trio number planned, so I think we should dive right into it. This is actually a song, uh, original composition by uh, that, Max, that Max and I co-wrote um, actually when we had some downtime a few years ago on a, a Colorado tour. So we had um, a day off in Colorado Springs a few years back. Yeah, it's got some Colorado Springs folks here. And um, they, they had these really cool, cozy cabins for us to stay in. So we, we, uh, we're feeling inspired and Max and I co-wrote this next one. So we aptly titled it Colorado.
Let's Max still work on that one. All right. Well, Oli is back with a fresh string. Django Reinhardt's compositions and of course you know this whole week we've been doing the uh, Colorado Gypsy Jazz Camp and this has been one of the the favorites of the campers to play and one of our favorites a good one to let everyone loose a little bit it's called Minor Blues Thank you. 
right. All right, well, it's okay if we do another original for you guys. Oh, just for you. Um, so this is one that we, uh, we recorded off our new album, Rhythm Future Quartet and Friends. And this, this particular song had a uh, fantastic special guest on it. You can only, who you only hear if you get the record. Just saying. It's an incredible guitar player, Stokolo Rosenberg. Um, one of the best in the world. Incredible Dutch guitar player. Um, but we had him feature on this one. And this is uh, one of my compositions called Sleepless.
So a lot of people always ask how we met. That's always an interesting one. And I think it's particularly important because um, of the, the camp here, because actually, to show you the value of, of these camps, um, I actually met Oli at a, a gypsy jazz camp called Django in June, about maybe seven or eight years ago. We, um, he was actually living in Finland at the time, so it was a little tricky to uh, play with him because I was in Boston, he was in Finland, but he was on his way to the US, and so we decided to uh, start up this group. But we also met Max when he was about 15 at Django in June. <laughs> that was last year. <laughs> we didn't meet Greg at Django in June, but we met him. I met, I met Greg. Actually, I met Greg when I was about 15. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I met Greg at a, a jazz jam session in Boston. And I, I, I was about 15 at the time, just, you know, really getting into jazz, and Greg's like, who's this guy? And I'm like, someday I'm gonna be your boss. <laughs> no, Greg's, Greg's one of the best bass players in Boston, and we're thrilled to have him. But you never know what, 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 uh, what kind of bands are gonna form at camp, so uh, you campers here, get that band together, You'll be the next Rhythm Future Quartet. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to play uh, a lovely tune of Django's called Tears and let Max uh, do a little improvised intro.
do one more song before we end this first set. Before I do, Max O'Rourke. <laughs> Greg Loafman. <laughs> Only five string cycle. <laughs> Jason four strings violin. We'll get the fur coats for next set. <laughs> oh, okay, well, 
You probably heard uh, uh, in that last song that uh, I tap into my classical side a little bit here and there. Um, this last, last number kind of fuses my classical training with my jazz and some world, world music uh, and composing all mashed into one song. Um, how many of you guys have heard of Paganini? So, so Paganini wrote these 24 caprices for violin that are extremely difficult violin solo pieces um, that I, you know, I, I'm always working on them and they're always part of uh, my practice routine, but I decided to try to write my own. So I've been trying to write 24 studies for the violin. Um, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> so um, this is the first one. I, I arranged it for this band and I've been calling them J-Tudes, Jason Etudes. So this is J-Tude number one in E minor. <laughs> Thank you. 